today we'll tell you how we managed to solve an issue with a P104 GPU type card whereby the memory power supply unit was overheating. P104 is a popular GPU family based on GTX 1070 and was designed specifically for cryptocurrency mining. Overheating can cause significant damage to the rig, impacting its overall reliability and service life. GPUs of this particular type often produce so much heat that they just simply burn out. This issue is critical for those who wish to build a reliable rig that would operate for less the temperature ranges of the most important modules, namely the memory, power supply units as well as the GPU as a whole, up to a razor and begin the mining process. So the system has been operating for 30 minutes and everything is within the normal parameters. Hash rate is at 40.5 mega hashes per second. Most important figures for us here are the temperatures for the GPU and the power supply unit. As we can see from the screenshot, the temperature of the memory power supply unit is about 126 degrees. So what about the rest of the system? Here the temperature is 75 degrees. Please note that if you try to mine on a GPU like this using air cooling, your equipment will degrade rather quickly and eventually fail. We have conducted roughly 25 different experiments but nothing helped. But eventually we found a solution to the problem. Apparently, the weakest links are those two resistors on the main memory power supply circuit. The manufacturer puts them here for power surge protection, but now that the cards are overclocked, they are more likely to melt the circuits down rather than to protect them from anything. Hence we replace them with a jumper wire instead. Let's see if that helped. The system has been on for about half an hour now, and let's take a look at the temperatures. This screenshot shows the temperature of the memory power supply unit. Wow, that's amazing. The temperature is down all the way to 70 degrees. Ethereum hash rate is at 40 mega hashes per second. So we've managed to reduce the temperature of the power supply unit by almost two times. And now we can be absolutely sure that our GPU will remain stable and will serve us for a long time. We can see that our actions haven't affected the hash rate whatsoever. As you know, if any components of a GPU become overheated, the whole unit degrades rather quickly. This can result in failures or at least a decrease in the hash rate. We in Kamino know this all too well. That's why we have created the most reliable system based on liquid cooling. In our next video, we'll tell you more about the liquid cooling system we designed specifically for this type of a GPU. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, leave your comments below and subscribe to receive our updates. Goodbye for now.